Yes, your eyes don't deceive you. You're looking at Moonlight running on the MiU Mini Plus. And uh, let's just load up some Vampire Survivors, shall we? Now it's really easy to get this running on the MiU Mini Plus, and I'll um, go through that shortly. There is a GitHub page with a little a little downloadable app for uh, Moonlight, which works really well, it has to be said. Now, there is a little bit of latency now and then. What I'd like to point out is I'm currently sitting in my office, which is a good couple hundred feet away from my router. And while some people have flagged up that it works great, but they have to sit right next to the router, I don't have that issue. So it's router dependent. And in fact, I'm using a mesh network. And as you know, when I'm sitting here in my little office, I don't have the greatest uh, internet connection anyway, but uh, it works really well. Now, it's a bit slow in loading up. I'm not really sure why, because it loads up super fast on the uh, on my um, Absolute. But what I have got working is the resolution switcher. So there is a little um, automation, resolution automation script that can run automatically that you, you put into Moonlight. Um, that's also on the GitHub page, which I will put all up on the screen just now. And I have to say, it's great. So... The first thing you can do is go to the, the file, which um, is literally a folder that you download, and I'll show you where to put it on your um, MiU Mini shortly. And then you run the script as well. You copy that folder down, you extract that onto your machine that's running Moonlight uh, or Sunshine, depending on what kind of PC you're running. And you store that wherever you want, and it adds a little PowerShell script and it does a resolution switcher. So what we're running here is 640 by 480. Now, obviously, a lot of the games in my collection that I have in my uh, through Play Night, which I was using as that interface at the start, they won't work on this because all I've got is a D-pad, four face buttons and four back buttons. Um, what I've set up is I've changed the key bindings. So, originally, uh, X and Y were bound to X and Y button, uh, like a controller button, and A and B were bound to spacebar and Q, I think it was, and I've switched them to the buttons on the back uh, because you still you need to use the spacebar to load the app. So as you can see, this is working pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quit out just now, leave this running just now, I'm going to quit out and show you how to actually install the app. So first thing you want to do is, I'm going to just show you what it is using the um, File Explorer on the Mini Mini. So it's in the app folder. So as you can see here, it's mount slash SD card, and then it would be app. If you take your SD card out and stick it in a machine, um, just straight into the app folder. So if you go into app, you will see there's a Moonlight folder here. Now that Moonlight folder is the one that you download from the link that I've included in the description. That links to the GitHub page for, I can't actually see the person's name, XK9274, who's created this little app and shared it out. You just plop it in there and that's it done. So from there, you will find, you, you won't see it in your, your games folder. You'll have to go into your apps folder and it'll be right at the bottom if it's the last thing you install. So here's Moonlight. So press A to load it as you normally would. And here's your little Moonlight app. So in here, some of these buttons don't do anything yet. So A and B, as you would expect A to be selected, it's not at spacebar. So I've mapped that to this button here. So if you try going to settings, there is no settings yet, there is no servers yet, uh, you can exit, which would make sense. Then load it back up again. You can pair and you can unpair. And you can see it's connected to my IP up here, which I've just blurred out. You have to set it up, you have to go to the pair setting, and you take your IP address in. Now that's the IP address of your either your PC that's running Sunshine, if you're just connecting to it directly, or your external facing IP address of your router. So you put that in there, and it's pretty easy to do. So we'll just um, exit here just now. I've already got that information there. So if we go into stream, so it's space bar, and I can do Steam Big Picture mode, which is a standard on my um, machine, or I can just go desktop, and desktop loads into Play Night. Now, if I click in there just now, it will go straight into Vampire Survivors, because that was the last game I left running. But as you can see here, so we've got some performance metrics, which I always have up on screen. And they're usually quite small on the screen. They look quite big here because of just because of the scaling. But this is 640 by 480. And I just want to show you how well this works. So we'll go into, oh, I forgot space bar, so side button. And we'll just pick a random character. Now, as you can see, the text is a little bit on the impossible side there. But it's uh, 
it's still playable. We'll start the game, I'll turn the volume up a bit, just so you can hear that there is a little bit of audio latency. I'm going to get myself some revives. But with the D-pad, this is playable, very playable. And I've played a few different games. I wanted to see if Dave the Diver would work, because I thought Dave the Diver would be great fun, but it really needs a, a proper joystick, so that doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, Idol Slayer works fine, because it's a pixel art tape game. As you can see, Vampire Survivors works better than fine. So this is really just a, a little curio you could do on your Miu Mini. I don't think many people will be playing properly with their um, Miu Mini to play Sunshine on their uh, main gaming rig. But I tell you what though, for something like Vampire Survivors, it's actually a pretty decent experience. Now there is a little bit of latency now, and then there's little stutters there, and those stutters are they're, they're the Moonlight connection and the Wi-Fi connection from the Miu Mini, because I don't get these stutters when I use my Absolute. But I have to say, I'm still thoroughly impressed how well this actually works. And I was going to try some more um, hardcore games, but I just don't think there's enough buttons on the Miu Mini to, uh, to cope. But um, yeah, if you've not tried Moonlight on your Miu Mini, then I think you should. Because it's pretty easy to set up, like I say. All you have to do is copy this little um, GitHub app, stick it on your Miu Mini, and you're good to go. Now there is uh, information on how to set up the custom resolutions. I have found, strangely, the custom resolutions don't work perfectly with um, my machine. So, on a fresh boot, it works fine. But after, uh, after I've run it at 640 by 480 when I pick my uh, Absolute up, it's not automatically switching back to 1080p. So it's requiring a, a log off and log on, or a restart. And then it's fine. So it's a bit strange, but there is a script that's meant to automatically work in it, and it works first time. And there is also some settings you have to make in Windows, which I have tried, but they don't appear to be working for me. So I might have to do a little bit more digging into that. I don't want to put too much uh, time into this, because it is just a little bit of fun. But um, yeah, it works, it works surprisingly well. As you can see, I'm getting quite engrossed in just playing this game. So yeah. Would I recommend you do this? Well, I'd recommend you try it, if nothing else. In fact, I might even, if anyone's interested, do a stream and see how far on this game I can get. Because I've just unlocked, well, actually I've just unlocked uh, Adventure Mode on the Android version. But I've unlocked uh, Adventure Mode on the PC version some time ago. And I've never got around to actually trying it yet. So I might see how far through I can get in Adventure Mode. Now, if that may make for a stream, if anyone's interested, leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I'll just um, sign off now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been of use to you. And um, I'm just going to play until I die, I think. So uh, thanks for watching.